Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah. Today I'll be taking a look at Mechanic Studios Flywheel. This is her take on a Legends Class tracks. There he is. All happy, reaching out for a high five, smiling over there, flying, cold mo uh, flying color mode there. I couldn't say that all right. And then here he is, all that stuff. Looks pretty good. Awesome, awesome. So, yeah, I was, you know, looking on agabus.com and I was like, huh, I don't have this guy. I'll try him out. Don't have a Legends tracks at all either, so. Yeah, I was going to give them a little test run and everything. So, let's just get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right, well, here is Mechanic Studios tracks in this alt mode. Uh, it is McFans Toys, but I think McFans Toys does the knockoff stuff. They do the oversized knockoffs. Mechanic Studios actually does new molds and everything. So this is a new mold. Nobody has done a tracks for a legend scale yet. So, that is pretty cool. Let's take a look at what he comes with first. First, Blaster, which is cool. Well, he doesn't come with Ryu. But he does come with a little blaster. Everything's painted. Silver, gunmetal, orange is red, yellow, black. That is all paint right there. And then the back right here so it does have a little hole, so it goes somewhere, I don't know. But once again, silver paint. So that is nicely done. Nice little accessory. I like that. It's all paint and everything. So here he is a parts former. Mechanic Studios is known to be a little uh, parts former thing. So this is his rocket launchers to go above him. Uh, in uh, bot mode, but nicely, you know, got black paint right here. Um, that might just be white plastic, but they can go up and down, both of them. So you'll, uh, well, you know, I'll, I'll show you all that in bot mode and everything. Now this part right here is like uh, some uh, boosters, and they will also parse form everything when, when he uh, uh, forms his third mode, which is a flying car mode. So red paint right here, kind of a white paint or white silverish paint right there. And that might be gunmetal as well. But nicely done. Looks good. Then moving over to his pistol or his gun. And it's all painted as well. Got some line work in there. Looks really good. All painted silver. And he does come with an extra head, which uh, is from that episode of, was it Hollywood? Or Hoist Goes to Hollywood or something. Little alien mask. You got some red paint. Light blue paint right here. Kind of a turquoise. So, pretty cool. It's going to pop off his head on a ball joint. I'm sure if you unscrew this a little bit, it'll be a little easier to pop it on. But, that's pretty cool they threw that in. They didn't have to do that. So, there you go. That's what he comes with. All right. We'll just move these out of the way a little bit. And we'll take a look at the Carmo. And it looks really good. Now, there are two kind of eyesores. And the first one, as you can tell real good, is this little gap right there. And that's where his, you know, his feet are going to transform. Kind of wish they would have been able to... I tried to push it up as best I can, but hey, you still got that gap. And you got the little ball joint thing right here showing. Other than that, it looks, looks fine. Got a nice swirly plastic, like a shiny plastic. You can see the swirls in there. Looks really good. You got silver around the rims. It does roll just fine. Got the nice red and yellow uh, trademark for tracks right there. And put a little Autobot symbol in the middle right there. Silver for the uh, windows, yellow right here. You can put an Autobot symbol right there if you want to as well. In the back, you got red for the uh, tail lights. Looks really good. A, a nice little Camaro underneath. Yeah. A little bit. You can tell a little bit of the roll bits right here, the wings and everything, the arms. But not too bad at all. This uh, but I like the swirly plastic. Looks really good. It's got a nice sheen to it. Kind of looks like paint, but I don't think it is paint. I think it's just a shiny plastic. But it looks really good. I like the car mode. All right, and there he is next to Iron Factory. This is Magic Square, and that is New Age. Iron, you know, with the Mechanic Studios and Mech Fans Toys, they tend to be a little bigger, so they don't really scale well with uh, the other three big, um, you know, Legends companies. But there you go, just to show you a little bit of a uh, scale. And Crappy Gonic, some Care Bears, and Crappy Toilet Paper. Scale. All right, going to go into his flight mode because he is a triple changer. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. I'm going to take the wings out like that. And then you want to take this out, fold these out like that, and then get this out like that. And then do that like that. And then you're going to take the arms 
and then just fold it like that and then do the same thing over here uh, the back of the car may fly up a little bit just put it back in like that go like this and go like this okay now this part you can flip up like that and then you're going to come over here take your engine part now you want to put these two parts you know this right here into the hands so you can kind of hold it this part forming a lot of people don't like parts forming yeah doesn't bother me put that in there and then put this part in there and then right in here it's going to go up into this part right here and it's going to take the place of the other original um, back of the car and right there you just kind of line these up put that up and there you go there he is in this flying car mode now you can move these you know back and forth they do have some kind of a light orange and yellow paint right there that's good sorry i keep hitting the cameras jeebus but that's one way now you can do another way and you just take this part right here take this part right here and you kind of just do it like this so it gives you a little more more range like with the ball joint so you can go up and down a little more when it's you know tacked on back there I really can't do that but you can you know a little get a little more articulation for the wings and everything but that's another way that you can do it there's other ways several you can put the hands all the way down if you want to I mean there's you know a couple ways you can do it however you want to it's your transformer but that's just two ways you can do the flying mode. Now, you can, I don't have a stand, but you can lift this part off, you can put a little thing in there and it could be posed on a stand. Looks really good, I've seen some other reviewers do it. It looks pretty good, but you can do that as well. I don't have a stand to go on, but there you go. So that's pretty cool. That's how you do the uh, flight mode. All right, folks, transformation time. So I put it back into like the way I want to keep it if I was going to keep it in the uh, flying mode. So you just take this out. that out Whoops. that just pops off <laughs> usually it won't pop up you need to do it like that all right then you want to move that and then I think you want to do it like this because like you want the wheels in front okay go down again and then turn this around. I think it's like that. I have to look at the. No, it's not. Okay. Well, no, it's going to be right. I'm sorry. Because we're going to turn the thing around. So it's going to be like this. All right. So I'll, I'll figure it out in a little bit. I'll okay. So what you want to do is you want to spread these a little bit. Pull this down, then you want to open this up like that, and then you're going to combine awards it down. Now, while you're doing that, there's this little piece in here that you need to open, and then move that, and it's going to tab in right there. Then you want to move the foot out, and then collapse that, and then you want to get the heel spur out, and that is one of the legs do it again and now that blue piece that i just you know that you just moved down will fold over that to uh, cover that up so move that and then combine wars it out but make sure you get this little piece out right here and then move it around collapse that move the foot out move that down 
and then do the hill spur. Come on. Yeah, like, well, there you go. That's the legs. Then you want to do a 180 like that. And there you go. That's what it looks like so far. All right. Then you want to move this. And then you want to spin a rooney that right there. Now you want to kind of move this up. It's got it's on a sliding mechanism right there. And you want to move it up. And that will reveal the head. So that's pretty cool. And then you close in. This right here, you close in there. And that will fill in the gaps. And then you do that. Now, this part right here, you lift this up. And it's going to plug into this right here, that little hole right there. So you just got to line it up, which I'm not good with lining up stuff. And just put that in so it secures that back. Now, let me get the arms back how they're supposed to be. So you got that. So like I said, the wheel's got to be in front. There we go. There you go. And that's how. All right. So that is basically how you transform him. Let me clean him up a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, back from cleaning him up. Um, I had the arm or the uh, biceps wrong, so the little opening of the waffles need to be in the front. So adjusted that, but everything looks good. Okay. Now you want to take this piece. Like I said, it is a parts forming, and you're going to yeah, not drop it. Two little slots right there. There's a little, two little pegs right there, and you're going to... Tad that in. Let's see, move that up. Always have this little black piece facing forward. And then he's going to have his little rockets up there. And that's good. So that is pretty cool, I guess. If you don't like parts for me, you may not like this guy. And then you take his weapon, and it fits in either hand. Let's see. That is a tight fit so be careful right there so it holds the weapon just fine and then the head sculpt like I said I'll show you in a little bit basically it's on a ball joint just pop that off and you can put that in now it may be a little hard you may need to take this off because this is on a ball joint as well so just pop that off the ball joint and then you can take the head like I said you can probably unscrew the little screw on the back and I'm sure he's got a screw back there and it'll make it a little easier to pop that off and on but I'll show you but that's how you change off the uh, heads and everything but well, there you go. That is how you uh, put the missiles and his uh, weapon and everything. Oh, I forgot he can also hold blaster as well. Now, it's not the best. He doesn't have a swivel on the hand. I wish he kind of did it to make it a little better. But you can hold blaster just fine. I'm sure you can. I can figure out a way to hold it up against the old 80s style beatbox and everything. So that's pretty cool. I like that little sex accessory. I said sex theory. Golly. But there, that is how you use all his accessories. All right, let's go through articulation and sculpt work. Let me get that gun out of his hand. All right, so nice head sculpt. Love that red and the blue eyes. Looks good. So you can look down a little bit. Not much up. Now you can. This is going to get in the way. You may knock it off too. But you can go all the way around. And... See, yeah, that sucks. Kind of wish that tabbed in a little better. Um, eh, little attitude, not much. But like I said, the missile, the the rockets, golly, they don't tab in that well. Oh man. All right, as long as you don't mess with it, I guess it'll be all right. Oh, that just sucks. Come on now. I'm just going to leave it off. Golly, pissing me off. All right. He can go, uh, move this up. He can go all the way up to there. All the way around. These can go up and down his little wings. He does have a little butterfly. So that's good. Bicep swivel up here. And 
an elbow swivel as well. Uh, does double for the elbow. That's good. I said no. Oh, swivel. There is a swivel. Oh, I'm so sorry. It is tight. So that'll be that'll make it a little better for the blaster thing. That's cool. So it is there. My fault. Yeah, there is yellow paint right there on his forearms. All right. And he's got silver, yellow, and red, or red is orange right there on his crotch area. Kind of looks like a robot. Waist swivel. Nicely done. Van Dam. Kick up. Back. Thigh swivel a little bit on the ball joint. Does have a cut as well. Yeah, 90 degrees for the knee bend. Really good. So he's got some red paint right here. And some silver and red paint down there on the toes, which is good. Tilt tilt down a little bit. Nice up. And he does have a rocker, but it is the toe. It's not the whole foot. And you do got the uh, kickstand back here as well. Cleans up just fine. Not really a backpack at all. I forgot to mention in car mode, there is that little gap right there too. I thought something would go in there. Like maybe these or something like that, but it's too big. It won't fit or anything like that. So that's sucks. All right, but there... That is articulation and sculpt work of Mechanic Studios tracks. All right, real quick, I was able to put this on a little better. You know, just a while ago, it was not that on, on that well. So I put it in a little better so it is tight so you can move the rockets up and down and it's not falling off. So I just didn't have it on there tight enough. So that was my fault. It's not the, the toy's fault and everything, but pretty cool. But there you go. Now let's move on. All right, there he is next to some Magic Square. You got, you know, some Beachcomber, you got Trailbreaker, you got Blaster, Megatron and Optimus Prime, and uh, Silver Streak. Uh, I guess that's kind of in scale. I looked at a picture with him and Optimus Prime, and the top of these do come up to where his head is and everything. He may be a little bigger, but um, that's what they that's what he scales with uh, Magic Square. You might can get away with it a little bit if you squint your eye or something like that, but there's some scale. And there he is next to some New Age, and yeah, not even close. He is way too big for any scale for New Age. So there you go. More scale. And there he is next to other mechanics tools I have. Uh, Hot Rod, or Rodimus Prime, uh, the Recolor, uh, Terror, ha -ha, and Astro Train. And there he is with his little mask on as well. Scale. And Crapagonic, some crappy toilet paper, some Care Bears, and Squeaks for more scale. All right, folks, let's talk about some Mechanic Studios Flywheel, also known as Trax. I like him. I think he's fun. He's a great bot. Uh, the alt mode looks really good. I love that blue swirly plastic. It really shines. It's got like a nice sheen to it. It kind of looks like paint, but I think it's just shiny plastic, but it looks really good. Now, there are some eyesores, especially in the front. You got that big old gap, and then on the side, you got the ball joint, you know, showing out and everything, and you got a little, another hole in the back and everything. So, you know, but other than that, it looks fine. I like the paint on it. I love the silver uh, windows i love the yellow and you know kind of a firebird or camaro thing going on the front of it might you know put a little autobot sticker right there looks really good car mode i'm really liking i also love the flight mode i think that's a really cool thing uh they were able to uh engineer that and all that stuff it looks really good i wish i had a stand because i would actually uh display it like that because it looks really cool in this flight mode so definitely like both those modes I love the bot mode. It looks really good. The sculpt is nice. The head sculpt is good. It just looks really nice. Um, the uh, articulation is really good on it as well. Only thing you can really ask for is maybe an ab crunch. But other than that, you get everything. I got some really good pos you know, poses and everything. Looks really good. Really nice paint. Not a whole lot, but it's, you know, it's there. Where it's there, it's really put on nicely. Didn't have any you know, scuff marks or anything like that. Like I said, I do like the swirly plastic thing. That looks really good. Accessories are really cool. You get a gun. You get a little blaster. Could have been cool if you got a Ryu. Um, you get the little mask, you know, another head sculpt and everything. That looks really good. So it's really nice and everything. Now, if you, do if you don't like parts forming, you may not like this because you do have to add on the missiles, which I was um, sorry about that. I did put them on wrong, but I was able to put them on right, and they stick on there real well. Um, it takes a little force to take them off and everything, so that's good. I just had them on wrong. I apologize for that. And you also have to put in the boosters for the uh, flat mode as well. So if you don't like parts forming, you may not like this, but I, it doesn't bother me. It'd be cool if they would have maybe incorporated everything to do that, but it is a Legends figure, and that would, you know, took up too much space. I don't think there's any way they could do it, you know, do it right and make it look good anyway. So I don't mind the parts forming. So overall, I like this. I highly recommend it. You know, if you do have some Mech Fans Toy stuff and Mechanic Studio stuff, it will go in with them. I think he goes well with the Magic Square stuff, to actually, you know, as far as scale and everything. I think he scaled well with those, so... You know, so let's get on the floor, do some floor time. Why don't you join me? Be my neighbor. All right, all right, all right. Well, all right. 
So yeah, Mechanic Studios has really grown on me a lot. I love the Rodimus. Uh, the recolor was good. Astro Train was awesome. This guy is really good. They got Octane and Blitzwing coming out. So um, yeah, the materials have gotten better. The paint's really good. The articulation's pretty good. I mean, the accessories that come with it are awesome. So I'm, yeah, I'm feeling some uh, Mechanic Studios lately. They've been putting out some really good stuff. A lot better than what McFans Toys was. I just love that they threw in this little uh, little mask and everything. They didn't really have to do that, but it's pretty cool. And I guess, you know, the really nice uh, modes, the uh, alt mode and the flying mode is really good. So I'm, yeah, I'm really impressed with the, uh, what Mechanic Studios. I love that blue plastic. It looks really swirly and everything. Really good. What's up, everybody? I'm Trax. I'm, I'm a zombie. I'm a, uh, Oh my god, that's so scary. Oh, no, it's just me. It's me. It's just me. I'm, I'm buddies. Pound it. Pound it. Guess what? It's time to kick the baby. And kick star screen. Pooper scooper. What's up, Alpha Bravo? How you doing? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. What's up, everybody? Dirtfire. What's up, everybody? What's up, Triticon? Yeah, eating a knockoff star screen. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. All right. Well, that was floor time. Awesome, awesome. So I guess that was my review over the uh, Mechanic Studios flywheels, also known as tracks. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Uh, hit me up some comments. Uh, I like to hear and read that and everything. And I guess I'll see you on the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself, Hell Hasbro, or Hell Mechanic Studios. And good night, folks. Look at that. Look at that mask. It's awesome. Yeah.